how to fully back up a WordPress site, including WooCommerce. In this video session, I'm going to quickly show you the critical areas that you need to back up for your WordPress installation. When you log into your WordPress dashboard, on the left hand side we have tools. Press on export. Then here it says choose what to export, select all content and press on download export file. That's for the front end stuff. Remember, if later on you ever need to import the front end stuff, then you have a import option as well through WordPress. We can install this here because now the downloaded file can be imported back. Okay, so what's next? Let's imagine you're operating WooCommerce. Select all products for WooCommerce. And here we have an option for export. Press on that. Select yes, export all custom meta, leave everything as default. But remember, you have option to perhaps export specific things. But since this is a full backup, let's leave everything as default and generate CSV file. That's for WooCommerce products. And once again, to import your products just in case in the future, simply press on all products and then select import and then re-import the file you've downloaded for your WooCommerce products. Next, you log into your cPanel or web hosting service providers um, backend, so to speak, because here we need to back up a couple of important elements for WordPress installations. If your web hosting doesn't have a cPanel, then you may be able to log in using FTP programs or your web hosting service provider will give you details as to how to log into your installation and how to access your database as well. So I'll show you the cPanel option. Simply locate file manager, press on that. Select your home directory. This is the easiest way. And here what you want is you want to compress and download the entire installation directory. Since most WordPress sites are installed under public underscore HTML, you can right click on that folder and then select compress and then download the compressed zip folder to your local computer. Once again, if you need to, you know, revert back the changes, then you simply upload the folder you've downloaded and extract its contents. While here I'll show you how WordPress sites are installed. There is three main folders called wp-admin, content, and WordPress includes. These are the three folders that you need to download as a backup. Then there is a file called .htaccess file. This is a hidden file and the settings can be found on the right hand side of your cPanel file manager. The easiest way is to select the file, scroll down to the last file while holding your shift key. You can select all and actually either zip the folder or download a backup to your local computer. Finally, since WordPress is a dynamic content management system, that means your WordPress is installed inside a database as in it connects to a database from your cPanel databases menu option you can select phpMyAdmin to log in to your WordPress 
database. Then select the database your WordPress site is installed in. Press on export. Select custom. Leave everything as default and press on export. And this process will download a copy of your WordPress database, including WooCommerce. While here, let's press on import. And here, you can always revert back what you've downloaded. So I've shown you the export option as well as import option. This is how you fully back up a WordPress site, including WooCommerce. I thank you for learning with Rankia, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.